Okay, James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. Uh, straight ahead is the famous Bendix Diner as seen on the uh, Jerry Seinfeld show, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. I do not live far from it. I am probably five to ten minutes from this famous diner where political rallies have been held. Um, big political campaign rallies. This is Route 17 um, South uh, in um, Hasbrook Heights, New Jersey. And as you can see, my main office, I'm in one, well, one of my primary main offices here. Okay, and there it is, and I will be passing it soon. When the damn light decides to turn green, unbelievable. I'm waiting, 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 freaking waiting. Here's that good shot of the Ben Dix. This guy decided, here we go, good shot of the Ben Dix. Ben Dix Diner, as seen on the web. Okay, good enough. Overly tall. Too stiff for you. Well, I don't see any problem with the swing. It's at least it's swinging. It might not be the finest to Would you. Would you prefer something like dental floss with a lot, a lot more give to it? Yeah. Do you want to argue some more? I use wax dental floss with my. I use it with my bamboo. I use wax dental floss with my bamboo. I, I, would you let me finish my sentence? I, I use I use wax dental floss to repair my bamboo wind chimes. Well, then use it on this. Well, uh, this looks prettier than, than dental floss. What's going on a modeling show? Yeah, I mean. It's too cold. Too stiff. Yeah. Hey, ask it. Ask it. Am oh. I arguing too much with Bill? No. no. <laughs> ask it. Somebody hey, I, it's called the First Amendment. I'm not arguing too much with Billy. Yeah. No, I got a better question. Is it really bizarre that a president of the United States like Trump would go against the Secret Service in favor of Russia and Putin? No, but it's a no, but it's a damn important question. Well, and it, it says yes. It isn't so weird being that it's Donald Trump, however, is it? No, <laughs> that he sided with Putin and Russia. To, uh, Senator Corker was very disappointed in Trump's meeting with Putin. But do you think he was too gentle when he was interviewed today with Trump? Oh, heaven forbid that a politician is not, like, diplomatic and kind. Who are you talking to about? I'm talking about Senator, Republican Senator Corker was interviewed by CNN people. Who did they ask him? About the Trump meeting in Helsinki. He well, he said, he says they're really, like, in shock and disappointed completely by Trump's attitude. And, uh, but they were, they were, they weren't, they were gentle in the way they spoke. No, not CNN. No, not CNN. I mean, oh, the Republicans. They're ripping him to shreds. Oh yeah. You wait until all the CNN people get done. Oh, they're all, they're 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 ripping him to pieces. Now, is there something not to not to speak in layman's terms, but is there something fishy about it? Not to not to speak in layman's terms, but is there something fishy about Donald Trump uh, going against the Secret Service in favor of Russia? Oh, I bet Robert Mueller is going to have a field day with, with this. Is Robert Mueller going to successfully capitalize on this? These dumb things Trump said? 
Yes. Oh, of course. It's they already indicted twelve uh, intel uh, uh, Russian officers. No, no. What's that mean? No, but it said we wouldn't send our people over if they were indicted by Russia. Yeah, no, it'll reinforce the case, though. No, really, it won't do anything. Maybe something they'll forget about in a week or two. Is Donald is Donald Trump using Hillary Clinton's emails as a big scapegoat to get the attention off of him? Oh, so that means Hillary is pretty guilty. So that means you're saying Hillary Clinton is also guilty of underhandedness. And how come that doesn't shock us? Establishment politics, man. Doesn't surprise me. Yeah, I, I basically... Is Donald Trump an absolute idiot and moron? See, the same right to the point. Yeah, but I, I like Donald yeah. Trump. An absolutely horrible president for the United States of America. Trump has absolutely no clue whatsoever, does he? Right into the now, there you go. Yeah. You know, uh, incidentally, um, professional writers, when they write about, let's say, politics or anything, they usually go into detail and it's usually more than one paragraph so there are professionals that don't cut to the chase like but you say there are that do because they're limited to space too that's true and they found out their readers don't like it going on and on and on like they said they will off the train get to your point and get out end it you, you know the the um the limited attention span of the average person is really a personality defect in the human species they are limited in their attention span. But the, then they, they say, I, I think they say, oh, I'm very detailed. I said, no, that's your way of being nice to yourself and saying you're long-winded. You go on and yeah. on. Detailed is when you have facts. I said, get to your point, get out. What yeah. I've had to tell people, so what you're saying is blah, blah, blah. I do it in one sentence. They go, yeah. Right. I said, well, then why didn't you say that? Why did you go on and on like, and on? It's like the legendary comics of old. The one-liners, they cut, they, they go boom. Uh -huh. Not like uh, uh, a rabbi, a priest. You know, the greatest, uh, greatest ones get right to the point. One-liners, bam. Punchline, boom. Get to it, get in, get out. <clears throat> These people that go on. Yeah, what was that? Who, who used to be long-winded with the jokes? Hee Haw? It was one of the, some show they used to be, they used to like go on and on with the story. Are the vast majority of people incredibly long-winded? Well, then why why even sometimes if you can't if you can't really fully communicate why even be alive why not hang yourself like anthony bourdain it's like why live like if you can't like yeah, why enjoy talk, why talk about nothing no but i agree why yeah, talk about nothing get your and get out. like the old guy about his stitches or or ray, or ray oh no oh. oh. do you imagine being Locked up in a cell. When, when communicating with others, and others, isn't it? Is it best to just make your point and get out? There you go. Oh, being that you're holding that, I got a good question. Our, 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 our dream, our dreams that are in color that you remember when you wake up. Is that a, a, a message? Our dreams that are in color. And when you wake up, you remember them. Is that a message of any sort? <laughs> Dreams, more often than not, really have no meaning whatsoever, do they? 
Well, it could be the spirit world trying to tell you something. Yeah, it could not be. Too. Or it could be ridiculous. Yeah, it could be nothing. Yeah. It's absolutely meaningless. Well, not every dream, but, you know, many dreams are. Do any, do any dreams have, have some meaning to them? There you go. People try to make too much out of dreams, don't they? Yeah, like shrinks that charge you a hundred dollars for four, for forty-five minutes. You, you know, a comedian made a joke. Says if you're in a psychiatrist or psychologist's office, right, and they're writing, they're writing in a pad. I can just picture what, what's on the pad. They're probably doodling nonsense on there, you know, just to kill 45 minutes. And then when the 45 minutes is up, they try to rush you out. But what if they're not doodling? What if they're really writing stuff? That's you know? right. You know, you know, both ends. Both ends of the spectrum. You know, and they do rush you out, though. Well, after stupid. 45. <laughs> but I don't know. How many have you been to? Uh, the ones that probably. I'll bet those are, are, there are those out there that don't rush you out. Time's up, but they keep going on. They remind me of that guy. The ones that rush you out. He has a vested interest in vests, yeah. I, know. I, I thought of that and I said, don't say it's stupid. Yeah, yeah. You came right out with it. No, it's a corny joke, but it's yeah, funny. It was. That's why I said I wasn't going to say it. And you came right out and said it. A and vested I said, I'm interest. I'm not going to say a vested interest. Well, it's like, it's like Egghead when he says, I'm an ecstasy. Yeah, I'm not going to say certain things. So but Egghead, Vincent Price played Egg. I mean, that's, that's classic, man. You, you're even making fun of Vincent. Certain things, when people are trying to be funny, are better off left unsaid, aren't they? Yeah, unless William, unless William Morrow says it. <laughs> Jimmy Madonna's trying to be funny, it's all just because of William Morrow saying it. Oh, okay. Corny jokes are funny. There you go, Jimmy. Now it's called being whimsical. That's a funny word, whimsical. Yeah, I don't know, Jimmy. Um, Some people just want to go on and on and on, don't they? And William wants to really be an isolationist. <laughs> Is it better off to just make your point and get out? I thought it was friggin' funny, vested interest. Isn't it funny, the very jealous Andrew Anderson also used to mock my corny jokes. Is that true? Very petty jealous Andrew Anderson. Did you ever think too, Jimmy, like they say? Hey, Jimmy. There are jealous people in the world. Some people can't tell a joke. <laughs> oh, um... What in, what in the hell went wrong with your little situation? Did Jack, Jack, did Jack ever tell you? Oh, it's just all bullshit. I don't care. I, we have to go to court tomorrow. Oh, and for I God's sake. It it's, it's like, it you know, it's like, uh, you know, it's, it's, part of it all. it's like, are they deliberately not making payments or, know, know. or can you sue the bank or yeah, the... It's going to be taken care of. Everything's going to be fine. Right. Sue the state of New Jersey? Believe me, I'm very litigious. If there's an opening... Like, I like to punish the guilty. If the state did something to, well, to me personally, I... I, I it's I, called vengeance. I don't believe in forgiveness. Yes. I believe in vengeance. That's right, brother. I don't believe in forgiveness. And, some, and when it comes to lawsuits, vengeance amounts to mucho dollars, muchacho. You're not telling me anything new, so we made our point. And I believe in vengeance. That's right. right. And by the way, when you win lawsuits, you, you buy the basics, like a, a, a cot or... A little, no, a little I'm bed. You, know. That right now. you don't sleep on the floor. I don't care right now about that. Bullshit. Oh, but have you heard from it? Uh, Keith Tubtown? Uh, no. I, I wonder what how he's doing. Uh -huh. I haven't heard from anybody. You have, you haven't heard from South Katri, from Habib. Well, neither of you. The only people we hear we hear from is really Eileen, <laughs> which is kind of funny in itself. Well, so be it. So be it. You know, like I said, that's, okay. 
you know what? That she was right. The AC was much colder when we when I saw you last. Yeah. There we go again. There we go again. Yeah, you got. Um, oh, I got a good question. But you, 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 you well, here, you, here, 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 here. Good. No, you go. For, no, you What's do yours. Know? What's the question? No, I like I like the feel of when, when I swing. It swings. Well, what we'll do? We'll both of us do it. Uh, uh, when people speak of romantic words of love, either either platonically or romantically, what really counts is time. Only time will tell. I don't understand what that means at all. In other words, when somebody uses words, like talk is cheap. When somebody says, sweetheart, darling, I love you, does that really, with people, does that really mean anything? Depends on the person. Some are liars, some are honest. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Like, it's like only time. So how do you want to phrase the question? Okay. It's a long question. Any yeah. time, when it comes to words of love, is it true that only time will prove Prove it. No, because all right away they even, they be even proven that. All right, yeah, let me ask. Let me ask. Love at first sight and things like that. Uh, uh, you mean love at first sight and it goes the distance. It happens. And it goes the distance. Sometimes it does. It depends on the people, as I just said. Does time is Stop time is time the only way to prove words of love? All right. Yeah, because I have people that tell me they hear words of love all the time and, and, and the guy ends up being, or the woman, insincere. Now, are, are many people insincere when it comes to romantic relationships these days? Okay. Does this have to do with human nature <laughs> does human nature also apply to greed and corruption oh it was not shy about going into a oh my god we know that into a yes verification yeah now for those that are religious they would say it's 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 Do Satan. You think I should get $100, dollars on lecturing, science talk. I think you deserve more, you know why? Yeah, yeah, well, No, well, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I know somebody, yeah, 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 yeah. no, I know somebody <laughs> that does, walk now he's walking See, away from me. Away. Now he's walking there away from me. There you go. He, I didn't even you tell him. People answer, Joseph. I was gonna tell him about my friend, I guess $500. Go over there, follow him over. I'm gonna go for a cigarette, you go over and tell him. Take a walk away from us like that. Go ahead. I'm gonna bring the pendulum. Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna, I'll go out with you. No, go to Joe's. Memory. Oh, Jesus. You said all I asked. Refresh my memory. No, tell me. We'll both do it. You can't both hold the board. Well, no, I like the swing. I like the feel of the swing. Please yourself. Okay, go ahead. Now stop the swing. Don't want to swing by itself. Well, go ahead. Yeah. Refresh my friggin' memory. You said you'll do it. You know what to say. No, I didn't say I know what to say. I say I'll, I'll, I'll say I'll ask where you at. Can say, do it? well, can I? After me. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. This Asian gentleman that Jimmy and I know, <laughs> Joseph. Joseph. I see you at an extremely unsociable human being. We've never been to one of we've never been to one of his talks or whatever you want his to call seminars, it. whatever. Oh, is he is he is he any good? Very good. Hmm. Maybe that's maybe you no know, maybe that's one of the reasons why is that one of the reasons why. No way. People do not want to pay him that much for his public speaking. Pay that much? You don't pay anything. No, I was being kind. <laughs> Does he get a very big turnout? 
at, does, his, at his lecture. Does the scientific Joseph get a very big turnout at his lectures? No. Is it around 10 people? Is it around 10 people? Even though, even though he's, it's a freebie, he's cheap. Is it less than 10? Is it less than 10 people? <laughs> I, You know, it's going into a swing now. Less than 10? That's pretty pathetic. That's right. You know what? It's not even worth... Is this Asian guy that, that Jimmy and I know? Joseph. Oh my God. Does he get less than 10 people at his so-called lectures? Oh my God. Seems like he's talking to himself. No, it's not a lecture. That's that's cool. Lecture is a room two, three hundred people, give or take. Well, yeah, come on. Listen, even if you got a good dozen and they and you're getting paid for it, that's not bad. It's not like I could, you know, it's not worth quitting, you know, if you get. But the point is. You know what? That wouldn't. That would be two hundred dollars in his pocket. Joe, our friend, the Asian, the Asian gentleman, Joseph. The Asian gentleman, Joseph. Are his lectures incredibly boring? Are his lectures incredibly boring? <laughs> well, scientists are like accountants. They can be incredibly boring. Yeah. Well, well, look at the look at the Science Channel. They're interesting people. No, no, that's the question. Why are you so anti-talk? Because you're, you're dissecting everything when it's swinging. You're swinging. Let it swing. No. Ask the question. I, it was swinging. Don't dissect everything. Is no, it, but then well, after yeah, it swings. The science Channel says this. Yeah, but it already established a swing. Let it go. Let it go. You don't have to dissect everything. Let it go. No, I, I like. I like. I'm not saying a word about it. I'm I know. I'm watching the answer and watching, and you're going on and on about the answer. Now, what's your next question, Jimmy? Come on now. You sure you're not born in Manhattan? You yes. are awfully in a hurry for things. I'd like to get to the point and get out. Ask him. That's why you live by the clock. Like like my my late yeah, friend William Eisenman. Everything was the clock with that guy. He had to eat at a certain hey, time. No, no, no. He had no, to get. I'll get to the point. I don't I don't go by the clock. Um, well, maybe you should try, Jimmy. Well, why? Why not? You living on borrowed time? Are people living on we borrowed are, time? We are. Yes, we are. Time is limited in your life. Yes. Yes. Um, You're limited. No wonder people get ulcers. All right. Um, no, it's not from stress. That's been proven. You know that. Come on now. You mean being in a hurry and being, ulcers, regi ulcers being regimented? Ulcers found to be nothing to do with stress. It's called, it's a bacteria, Jimmy. That causes bleeding ulcers. Yes. Nothing to do with stress. Stress does not cause ulcers. So, so, so if somebody has a job with deadlines. Maybe and, there's and, a question. Does stress have anything to do with causing ulcers? Ulcers are caused by bacteria. Am I right? Very possible. There you go. See? Now we what else you want to know? See? Right to the point. Bang. Do people that live in, in normal laid back areas live longer than people from the big cities? Do people who live in rural laid back areas live longer than those who live in the big cities? Oh. Wait, so all those nuts that are in a hurry trying to make somebody rich, they actually live a... It's hard to believe. Well, a lot of things are hard to believe. What else you want? <clears throat> um, are many celebrities total assholes in real life? Question. Okay. You appreciate. Yeah. Are many celebrities total assholes in real life? 
So that, that means talent has no bearing on personality. Well, uh, people go in for it. you got to realize, Jimmy, psychologically, people do it because they, they're unhappy with themselves, and it's been proven they're happier pretending to be somebody else. Right, and, and also like people that are obsessed with... Hi, Lauren. Put with, like, like Andrew Anderson, people that are obsessed with putting others down built is a way of building themselves up. What's up? But you're right, the AC was colder when I saw him Saturday. Yeah. Much colder. Yeah. Much. Well, not a lot. But I mean, you could feel it. But you could feel it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like, again, you know? So it's like, get the thing well, it's better than it's been where it was off completely, though. It's better than nothing. Right. Now, it's Monday. You would think there'd be an air conditioning and refrigeration person working on it today. What are they putting in the new units? Did Daisy say anything? Yeah, they're putting in a new unit. Eventually. Eventually. No, Daisy said they're putting it in a temporary. Temporary? Yeah. Um, until they, uh, until, why would you bring a crane and everything else to lift up, lift up a temporary unit? That's that's a lot of work. You're right. Why would you do that? Why? Why? Labor. It, it, a temporary unit is probably cheaper than. Oh, is it because the temporary central air conditioning unit is cheaper? Is then fixing it permanently? Yes. Look, look. It's really about the penny pension with these American companies, huh? Yeah, looking. Yeah, a temporary unit to pay labor charges for a temporary unit. That, that's like a what's the word? Oxymoron? It's like it's something that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Yeah. So. But this place has always had its own drama. Does putting a temporary air conditioning unit here on the roof of McDonald's make any sense whatsoever? No. So what's it supposed to do? If it goes counterclockwise. It's clockwise, it's no. If it goes clockwise, it's a yes. Are you kidding me? If it goes you back, that? if it goes it's back, never, it, he's not wrong. moving it. It's never wrong. Let me see. Well, you better know how to operate. Well, but you got to ask it a good question. Don't move like it what? here. Or ask Jimmy the question. Let him do All right. it. All right. Like what? Now, don't let it swing. Don't, don't let, it, let swing. it swing. But don't don't drag it on the table. Ask it something personal that you're curious about. Am I fool for getting married? Let me ask that one. You know what? Oh, forget it. She's <laughs> laughing at my his. friend Lauren. <laughs> is she a fool for getting married? Many people are. No. Oh, so then you 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 you're one of the lucky ones. <laughs> See? No, you're not a fool. You're not a fool. See? Oh my god. Yeah. Hey, how did it go the other night at the uh, railroad station? Good, nice. Was it good? Yeah. Is that a restaurant called the railroad station? Well, it's right there. Oh. You had a good time? Yeah. Is is it near a railroad though? It's right yeah. there. Right there. We went there. Oh, the, but by Park the, Avenue. Yeah. What did you have? The, oh, yeah, yeah. I had uh, uh, geez, um, Open face? That's a funny name for a sandwich. Oh, I always thought that was something like tuna melt or ruby. Open face. Yeah, it was good? It was good. A lot? They give you. Oh, no. They gave, they gave her, my friend, more than they gave me. She had a salad. They came out with two big things of much balls. What kind of balls? For her salad? Mozzarella balls. Yeah. Fresh For her mozzarella. Salad? Yeah. For her salad? For her salad. And five pieces of Italian bread. You know, I like Greek salad with feta cheese. Ooh, so what, what, and they didn't give you much? And they, they my sandwiches came out. It was by. Open faccia. Open <laughs> face. You know, it would be, you know, be a good name for a cafe? Choo Choo Charlie's Cafe. Choo -choo Charlie's. But they didn't give you much, huh? Yeah, I, it, was, it was fine because I don't eat a lot. Choo choo Charlie. Yeah, still, you're paying, right? Choo choo. Did you know the cop? It's my birthday. Did you have drinks too? Yeah. 
Did you know the Cobb salad was invented by accident and the, la the guy's last name was Cobb? I think it's the Brown Derby in Los Angeles, in Hollywood. Did you, uh, get tired? Not really. Not, not really. We yeah. had, um, But I saw some nut lady on the news. They said she was a little buzzed and ran to, on the train. I said, let me drive this thing. Let me <laughs> drive this thing. The Railroad oh, Cafe. Now, yeah. that took a lot of yeah, thought. Well, that took a lot of thought yeah. to name that place, the Railroad Cafe. Um, is it nice really. inside? It's, it's a railroad station. Yeah, but it's not clever. It's like, well, oh, well, maybe it's simple because they figure the average person is a simpleton. Yeah. Really. It's crowded. Yeah. I was, I'm surprised. But there was a birthday party. What size are their burgers, though? Are they at least eight ounces? Or are okay. they small? Okay. They're big? Okay. They're Really yeah, because yeah, usually eight ounce burger is a good burger. But, but, you had um, a good time though? Yeah, we had like, you know, Mai Tais. Are you oh, I'm very familiar with Mai Tais. Yeah. Yeah. Like eight. <laughs> eight. Huh? Eight each? Eight. Eight. You, you mean eight? 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 Yeah. You mean this amount? Not, not big drinks, shots. Mai Tais don't come in a shot. They, they yeah. need this. But it's a cocktail. No, it yeah, depends on the place. A, like other places have woo woos and they, and they got test tubes and things like oh, that. Oh, like you the. Know, it's, um, it's whatever they want to do. Like the kamikaze. So you, had, you, yeah. had, you had eight? Yeah. Jell O shots, it's kamikaze. So good. It goes down so smoothly. What? It goes down what? So smoothly. So you got home to your husband later. And you said, well, he came to me. You said, baby, I'm feeling frisky tonight. <laughs> you know, you know, al alcohol is a proven aphrodisiac for women. Well, I'm glad you had a good time. It really is. You know, good for you. Not for men, for women. Choo Choo Charlie. No, the Rutherford, the, the Railroad Rail Cafe. Cafe. Gotcha. Well, you had a good time. That's a big station, you know. And then the other restaurant for is called Blarney Station. Oh, I bet they have great fish and chips yeah, and Irish and shepherd's pie. Probably. Blarney? Why is it called Blarney's? Because the Blarney's so. thing, yeah. In Ireland, is a... Is but you a, had a good time. That's yeah, okay. You're what? The legal drinking age now, right? The myth of <laughs> kissing oh. the Blarney Stone. I hope so. Let me ask you a question. Did you know that the New Jersey Transit bus stop right across from that train station is the only one that has 24-hour buses into New York? And yeah. back again. We do that every one of my stuff. They run. They run 24 hours. Oh, the, but the only. Happy birthday again. Oh, it's your birthday. It was my birthday last week. Oh, so you're you cancer the crab. Yeah. Yeah, mine is August 1st. Uh, mine's coming up. Uh -huh. But um, yeah, so that is the only New Jersey Transit bus stop that runs 24/7 with the buses. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Like you're at you're right in front of the Rutherford train station. Here's Park Avenue. And then right on the corner, boom, you go right across the street, there's a bus stop. That's it, 24-7, which is kind of like not good because uh, Hasbro Kites on the boulevard, yeah. the 163, 164, they only run, I think, up until 12 midnight or 1 a.m. But what if somebody on the weekend wants to go to Manhattan from our area and have a good time. They can't, now they gotta come home early. New Jersey Transit, everything with New Jersey, they don't use logic. It is so messed up. This is really a messed up state. All right, bye, take care. This guy, pain, arrogant pain in the ass. Uh, William H. Morrow III. Now that is his full name. He, he really is. He really can be an arrogant motherfucker. For real. Day of the Dead. Unbelievable. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.
Greetings, everyone. This is James P. Madonna of Progressive Discussions. Um, this is not something that I would do commonly uh, for any of our shows, and I have been doing progressive discussions since, I would say, 1995, starting with my late uh, mentor and very close friend who has passed away. Um, in, um, in the winter of uh, 2018, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisman. May he rest in peace as I toast him with some Taylor cream sherry. I love you, man, and I miss you. My, uh, my fellow, uh, I mean, my original uh, co-host for Progressive Discussions. I also have other good people. Uh, besides William H. Morrow III uh, and uh, Mick Von Raven. I want to thank Mick Von Raven. He has done great shows with me. But um, I'm adding this video message to the end of this particular show to discuss a very touching banner uh, that you may have seen in the introduction of the show before um, myself and William H. Morrow III started speaking. Um, it was about love. Um, there are many people who loosely uh, and freely use uh, words of love. Uh, it could be romantic love. It could be love for an, an old, very close uh, friend. It could be love for family, like one's parents, like the uh, banner shows. Um, and I guess I can, I can make this statement collectively for uh, all words of love in general, but in this case, romantic words of love. Too many people use it freely, just like too many people uh, do not take their marriage vows seriously when they get married. Thus, the high divorce rate. Okay, or uh, relationships break up at the drop of a hat where they shouldn't break up if two people work hard together to make it work. It takes two people, you know, uh, to dance salsa, not one. It takes two people to dance salsa or ballroom dancing. It can't be all one-sided. Uh, love cannot be uh, conditional. It must be unconditional. And it does take two to make it work. And it can work. It can work. If there's a will, there's a way, like the old saying goes. But unfortunately, the, uh, the uh, words of romance and love are, are given out too freely, just like marriage vows that people have uh, no intention on keeping, whether it be in the eyes of God or, or uh, in a civil ceremony. If you get married by the mayor of a town or, or, or a judge, magistrate, whatever. Uh, but the word, they don't take the vow seriously. They don't take their words of love seriously. And uh, without getting into detail, <coughs> Uh, deeply hurt feelings are caused by people that are not sincere with their words of love. Um, if you don't really mean them, you don't really mean it, don't say it. Um, don't lead someone on. Don't have your significant other uh, give of themselves in many ways and make sacrifices for a long period of time if you're not willing to go the distance long term with them. You know, don't trivialize words of love. Um, I don't do it and I think that if you're brought up right in the right atmosphere with the right family environment and the right parents, you will be just like me. You will be sincere and honest with your words. Uh, you will be truthful. You will, you will not be a pathological liar like many people are 
out there, including our current president, uh, whether it be pathological or deliberate, we don't know yet. But don't do it, don't say it, don't get married if you don't mean it, if you don't intend on living up to your marriage vows. Don't say, honey, sweetheart, darling, I love you, I miss you, if you do not mean it, if you're not willing to back it up. So that's all I have to say uh, because um, when you're not sincere, the damage you cause to the other person can be very deep and devastating. So think before you play with someone's feelings. That's all I have to say. This is uh, my advice to the world in the subject of uh, love, romance, whether it be a friend, family member, relative, mother, father, or a significant other fiance, husband, wife, whatever, you know, because I've been in situations where I, I have given of myself a great deal, blood, sweat, and tears uh, in, in vain, all, to, all, all for all, all, I, I'm not, I don't want to be negative, but there have been cases where my love and devotion and my generosity of giving has gone to waste. And uh, along with waste, there is very deep hurt feelings which are avoidable. So think before you say anything. Unless you're stark raving mad, unless you're a lunatic and you need to be in, in an asylum or under psychiatric care 24-7, you know what I mean? If you're if you're a, a sociopath, you have a, a, a medical excuse. But if you're not, use some common sense and, and think before you take those marriage vows, or think before you say "I love you," uh, and and before you make future plans with a significant other. That's all I have to say. Take care and God bless.